What's up, Gemini gang? Happy Wednesday, aka the date of Mercury. <laughs> All Gemini placements take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box, all right? Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you for being here. Thank you for being here, all right? Um, all right, I'm loving the energy, honey. I'm loving the energy. So we have grateful optimism, joyous view of the future. See, we're having this optimism here. We're seeing this, all right? Grateful optimism. I feel like this is definitely here for a reason because I've been on y'all about um, being grateful and not taking people for granted, okay? People always say that they're not doing that, but then when they look at their children, when they look at their parents, their other family members, they see that they are, okay? Some of you are changing that. Like, I feel like some of you guys are becoming a lot more grateful, a lot more optimistic. Then we have death and rebirth here as well. Darkness to light. Love it. Angelic assistance here on the bottom. What comes out? The overall energy. <laughs> For the reading is wisdom. We saw this one the last time I pulled this deck. I don't remember when that was, but we saw this on the bottom of the deck in the last reading. Okay, so... This one is number 29, which is reduces to an 11, which reduces to a 2, but it's master number 11. Okay. We have uh, learning, joy, art, and music. Love that. Okay. So let's see what is going on with this. <laughs> All right. So this one's not very uh, long. Okay. But... Y'all can see that. Yeah, y'all can see that. It looks pretty good. My hands are a little ashy and dark. But... Okay, so the goddess, I hope I'm going to butcher her name, Sarah Vati, holds a musical instrument in two hands and extends her other arm outward in joy. She stands at the door to the temple, encouraging you to enter a new period of learning and exploration. This card heralds a time of deepening wisdom for you. It may be gained through personal investigation or through school or other uh, formal courses of study. Don't dismiss this potential for learning. There is profound gratification that comes from this pursuit, whatever that subject may be. It's possible that your path of study will relate to some form of art or music. That's interesting because this relates to me heavily. Um, if you have an interest in these or other creative endeavors, now will be the time to dive right in, take a class, go to a museum, or surround yourself with music and art forms that bring you joy. I love it. And I've been telling you guys how I've been doing piano lessons. So this is very, very fitting. The swan represents the connection between the mind and the heart. I love that. I'm going to have to read up on swans now. I didn't know that. There's a swan there on the bottom. Um, and as you open your heart to greater understanding into new joyous experiences, your heart will glow with inner satisfaction. In addition, in addition, your life force will sing with beauty, grace, and irresistible attraction. Affirmation, I always choose to learn and grow. The music and art of life inspires me. Love that. Love that. Wow. Okay, then. That's how we're starting off. Yeah. All right, so let's see what is going on in Gemini's. Let's see, let's see. Mm-hmm, the fool, I like that. Learning something, taking a dive, starting from ground zero. This is like a blank, this gives me blank canvas vibes, okay? So this makes sense, especially with it coming out with this art. It's like now you're kind of creating your life. Um, Gemini's, you're starting over, you're starting from ground zero. I'm seeing the nine of swords, uh, not, not nine of swords, nine of wands, six of wands, and the two of swords. So I feel like there could be... Um, Something you're not totally sure of, uh, Gemini's, Ten of Pentacles, whatever it is you're sitting on, though, is, is going to bring you some type of prosperity. Now, interesting. Um, some of you may have started something new, and it may not have panned out the way that you wanted it to, um, Gemini's. Take that how it resonates with you. But I also feel like, too, with the Two of Swords, because the Two of Swords has a lot to do with the self, 
um because of as you can see there's only one person here you know but it's it's a lot of times you know uh battling the the internal versus the external so i feel like there may be something here that's going to involve you having to take guidance from yourself your wisdom from yourself and not outside or external forces gemini's Nine of Pentacles, starting something new. There's that devil. Mm -hmm. Some of you may be ridding yourselves of attachments or trying to. I feel like some of you guys want to become more independent or you want to find a life outside of um, your connection. You want to find you want to find who you are outside. Because some of you I'm getting. See, now I said the Nine of Swords earlier. OK, and I saw that in the last reading. Some of you want a life outside of the life that you have created. That's the vibe that I get. Like you, you might be a mom, right? And you want like a life outside of that. Not saying that you don't want to be a mom, but I do feel like there's a knight of swords again. Um, not saying that you don't want a life outside. Not saying that you don't want to be a mom, but thank you, spirit. You want a life outside. Like some of you, this the two of wands is all about that because you see how she's gleaming out the window yearning for something better yearning for something more something bigger um i feel like that's kind of where a lot of you are you want something more you want something bigger uh you want something outside of what you have right now uh gemini's okay but i feel like the energy that you need to be in in order to get the life that you want is to be to be grateful that grateful optimism we saw over here is to be grateful for where you are okay it doesn't mean that you don't um you don't strive for more but you still have to be grateful for where you're at okay the six of wands again holy shit four of pentacles seven of cups yeah this okay so there's some confusion here for you gemini you're confused you don't know which direction to turn. No, I just had this conversation in the money read, okay? The judgment here on the bottom. Mm -hmm. There's something here you have to make. A, you're going to have to make a solid decision and you're going to have to stick to it. You can't stay in this lingering in limbo energy forever, Gemini's, because it's, it'll catch up to you. Okay, so I feel like you. there's something here you need to make a decision and you need to stick to it. Okay? Whatever it is will work out. I also feel like if you've been working on something, Gemini's, for a long ass time, you're going to get the victory. As long as you stick to it, whatever this is, as long as you stick to it, you're going to get the victory. You're going to come out victorious um, with this. Some of you, you're needing to like take some type of risk. Or you want to. Like I feel like you, some of you feel... Okay, yeah, thank you, Spirit. You feel a little burdened by your environment. So it's like you want a change, uh, Gemini's. And I kind of got that yesterday in the love readings with someone wanting to want change or someone that was, was desiring change. So that could be you. Could be someone else. King of Wands here. Yeah. Two of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Some of you want to have more fun and do something different. The moon here. I keep seeing this damn moon card. Um, the four of wands here uh, on the bottom. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. I do want to clarify the moon. Whoa. The three of swords. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that one. And then we have the four of pentacles on the bottom again. So, oh, I feel like with that energy, Gemini, you might be harboring something or holding on to something. Some hurt, some pain. Could be from a fire sign or a water sign. Yep, dang. The two of, so, yeah, I'm going to have to pull some more cards. So, we have the two of swords. I was trying to keep the reading under 15 minutes, but it's still doable. It's still doable. Okay, so the two of swords is over the two of swords. So, there is something that you're not sure of. Gemini's you're not there's a lot of uncertainty here in the spread 
a lot of it. You're not sure about a person. You're not sure about your love life. You're not sure about your career. You're not. It's it's like you won't. You won't make a solid decision, uh, Gemini's, or you haven't made a solid decision regarding whatever this is. And it's like, I feel like some of you two are like, spirit is like trying to connect with you. The nine of pentacles again, spirit is trying to connect with you. Also pay attention to your dreams. Uh, your dreams are going to reveal a lot to you, like a whole lot. I got to know more though. Or you saw something in your dream that had you feeling away, Gemini's. Seeing something with dreams. Some of you following a dream. Oh, yeah. Seven of Swords. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like something's going to re be revealed to you in a dream, Gemini's. So just be mindful of that. Two of Cups. So some of you felt betrayed from a connection or you had some type of uh, premonition or you felt betrayed by someone, uh, Gemini's, or someone feels betrayed by you. Take it how it resonates with you. Um, yeah, now the Seven of Swords over here crossing the moon, that could be either somebody is not telling you the truth about something, Gemini's, uh, and you feel it. You can feel it in your bones. Now this may not be a lover, okay? It could be your child, it could be it, whatever you're thinking about, Gemini's, whatever pops into your head, it could be your family member, your boss, like whatever it is you're thinking about, is it? It's, it'll come to light though, whatever it is. Um, yeah, because someone's not telling you the truth. For some of you, you found out the truth through your dream or something about this is going to be revealed to you. I feel like too, some of you need to learn how to listen to your intuition as well, uh, Gemini's. Okay, some of you need to learn how to listen to your intuition. <clears throat> someone like i said some of you feel betrayed by a person mm -hmm. could be a fire sign or they feel betrayed by you it's hard to say um who is who um you know in between all of this it's hard to say who is who but yeah five of swords oh yikes <laughs> i'm seeing the moon again as i split the deck it's like what the hell this is a very problematic energy it's like two, see, Gemini's, I'm confused by the whole reading because it's like whoever is mad or whoever is upset or sad doesn't quite know why. So this could be you or this could be the, a person on your mind or someone on your mind or someone in your energy because it may not be somebody on your mind, okay? Because it may not be a lover. It could be. You have the two of cups here, but again, it could be any type of connection to you. But it's like someone is like upset or hurt or something and may not exactly know why. Okay, and it may have nothing to do with you um, at all, Gemini's. Or someone feels like they're they are um, you're hiding something from them, uh, Gemini's, or vice versa. I don't know. I gotta get more because it's, it's like it's a lot of it's a lot in the air. Uh, Gemini's with this, it's just a lot lingering. Some of you feel betrayed by someone. You're holding on to some past hurts uh, of some sort. Gemini's, the lovers. Okay, so for some of you, this is a lover where you felt betrayed. <sighs> you felt like they were stepping out or they were doing something, um, Gemini's, or they actually were. Or, like I said, this could be someone um, feeling this way about you. Now, the Two of Swords is here twice. So it could be like a mutual thing. Like you both have this trust issue um, from the past. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you both have trust issues. And they are manifesting in the with the connection, Gemini's. Yeah, because Seven of Swords is definitely a trust issue, especially with an emotional card like the moon. 
Uh, yeah, and that can also be self-deception as well. That's why I'm trying to figure out if, if this is someone actually that did some dirt. I mean, it could be Gemini's. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of energy here put into what, what might happen or what could happen. Or something, like I said, has happened before in the past. And you keep going back to that. I hope what I'm saying is making sense. So take this how it resonates with you, uh, Gemini. But I see someone is like hurt. Someone is in like some type of distress. Um, but I feel like it's it's more so self-inflicted. It's not necessarily something that someone else did. I feel like it's more so, um, yeah, I'm seeing the tower here on the bottom. It's more so um, someone not not trusting you don't trust someone gemini's but my thing is this don't give them another chance that's the way that i see it if you don't trust someone don't give them another chance like that's just bottom line because you're going to put yourself in, in some type of mental turmoil for what like for a connection like why do this to yourself <laughs> i mean i don't know just to have someone uh, i mean this is just a lot of a lot of issues of trust y'all the five of swords again somebody is upset at you or someone's mad at you Gemini somebody is mad somebody's upset for whatever reason um but I feel like it may not even be like a legit claim that's that's kind of what I'm getting something especially with the seven of swords and the moon here it's like Something something isn't quite what it seems, uh, Gemini's. So, like I said, I, I'm just not sure what it is, y'all. Let me ask specifically. This would be a good time to do extended reads. Hold on. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so I asked, whoever is upset, why are they upset? Okay, the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Swords just came out in the last read. Okay, so you left somebody out in the cold. Somebody feels abandoned. This is the same energy I got from the last read. Somebody feels abandoned. Somebody feels like you don't want them. Somebody feels like, and this could be you, Gemini's, feeling like they, um that they're kind of being forgotten about. That's kind of what I'm getting. I also feel like too, some, someone hates how much they're into you. Somebody hates how much they, like how much they're in love or they, <laughs> they hate how much they, they care, Gemini's. No, I mean, Seven of Wands and the Hierophant. Somebody wants to fight for this. So I ask, is, is anything being hidden for, from Gemini and the seven of, seven of Wands and the Hierophant? This is someone that wants to fight for their beliefs. They believe that you are supposed to be together uh, with the Justice card. They may believe that y'all are soulmates or karmic partners or whatever the case may be. Um, it's like this person kind of wants to prove themselves to you. Now, it may not be a lover, okay? But someone wants to prove that they're better. They want to prove that, you know, you... Someone feels like you're wrong about them, uh, Gemini's. That's that's just what I'm getting. It took all that to get to this. So you may be dealing with someone that's very difficult. Um, they may legit have a hard time communicating too. So I won't put that past them, Gemini's. Okay, they may legit have a hard time communicating. But mm, I don't know. I'm frustrated. I don't want to be bothered with it anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh Lord, this was just this was way longer than I wanted it to be. I'm trying to dig for answers so I could kind of see why you guys feel how you feel. Um, I don't know if you want to know more. You you just gonna have to um, you just gonna have to um, book a personal reading, child. If you want to know what your particular situation is, because baby, look, it's just a lot of shit here. So as I cut the deck, I'm seeing this, which is three. That's Gemini. Okay, this is a broken heart. So like I said, someone is hurt here. Like I said, I don't know if it's you, someone in your energy, but I feel like it's it's something that's self-inflicted. That's that's kind of what I'm getting here. Wow, 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 wow. So some of you dealing with earth sign. Mm-hmm. 
Now, I don't get that this person is wanting, like, to end anything. I feel like somebody's in their head. Um, I don't know. Run the video back. I can't. I just, I can't. Just nines. I can't. So, we have <laughs> Repair Band here. We have Libra. Um, this one is Repair, Fine Tune, Heal, Fix, Many Working Parts, Reset, Proceed Carefully, Needs Fixing, Make need fixing. Make Adjustments, Recover, Skill, Make Things Right, Men Restore, and Upgrade. See, that's what I got. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, because I was confused as fuck. Like, what? That's what I get with this. <clears throat> the Hierophant and the Seven of Wands gives me a vibe of someone that wants to prove themselves. I prove. Let me prove to you that I can do right by you. Let me prove to you that I've changed. Let me prove to you that I'm better. Um, you know, because the, high, the Hierophant is high morals, high values, things like that. You know what I mean? Then we have Sapphire, which is Gemini. So let me deal with another Gemini. This is mental force, spiritual insight, hope and faith, wise judgment, power and strength, kindness, life of the party, extrovert, motivated, precious, valued, holy, divine favor, and revered. Love that. Then we have rings here. And then we have contracts, agreements, bonds, strong connections, unions, partner, counterpart, lovers, telepathy, like-minded people, committed partner, engaged, interconnected, and soulmate. So I'm pulling this energy out. And after all this energy, I pull positive, the positive uh, outcome, Oracle. Like, what the fuck did I just read, Geminis? I don't know, okay? Hit the likes. Hit that subscribe, y'all. <laughs> Thank you for watching, y'all. Peace out.